Welcome to Andy's Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm gonna to show you how to remove the driver's seat out of a Jeep Wrangler TJ. If you wanna see how to remove the passenger seat, you can do so via the link above. I did a video in the past showing how to do that. A little bit different, not much, but just a little bit. Several of you out there have asked about the driver's seat, so that's why I'm doing that. So let's go ahead and get started. To complete this, you're gonna need a small ratchet so you can get into tight spots. You also need a longer ratchet for the other ones. You'll need a T50 torx bit and a 13 millimeter socket and you'll have three 13 millimeter bolts holding the seat in all around and then on the rear inside is where you'll have the t50 uh, torx bolt coming here towards the front of the seat on the inside front you have a 13 millimeter bolt right there in the far back and I'll go around back so you can get a, a close-up of it, but there's a T50 Torx bolt back there. And there you have it on the inside. It's actually a T50 Torx bolt, so you'll need the T50 bit for that one. The other three are 13 millimeter. Turning here, this is on the outer front. On the door side, there's another 13 millimeter. And then going all the way there in the back, you'll see far back there, that's another 13 millimeters. So you have three 13 millimeters, and then the rear inside is where you have the T50 right back there, the T50 Torx bolt. Underneath the seat here, you'll see this little electrical harness here. This is for your seat belt sensor. So we're going to go ahead and just pop that off so we don't pull that when we remove the seat so just lift that slide that off and then we can just tuck that here underneath that way we don't pull that off next we're going to start removing the 13 millimeters and then we'll end off with the t50 in the back so we have the seat completely slid back so that way we have access right here so slide the seat all the way back and then i'm going to go ahead and take these off Move on to this one. Depending on how long it's been since you've taken your seats out, these can be pretty tight. May have to use some penetrating oil if they're really tight. In this case, we haven't gotten to that point yet. Right, we've taken off the front ones there so what we're going to do now we're going to slide the seat all the way forward so that way we can then get to the ones in the back and have better access back there and you can see here now you can see them a little bit better so I'm gonna get in the back seat so we can get back there and get to them sitting here in the back you can see now that we've slid the seat all the way forward That'll give us access to that 13 millimeter and to the T50 right back here on the inside. We'll move that harness a little bit out of the way. I'm gonna take this one off first and then we'll end off over here with the 13 and then we'll be able to pop the seat out. These T50s can be on there pretty tight. So in the past I've had to lubricate them first, but there we go. This one here is moving actually pretty tight, but it's still at least moving. So. We're we're getting a grip on it there we go there we go it's coming out so i'm going to work on this we'll get it out and then i'll be right back all right finally a little bit of hard work to get it it was pretty tight in there as it was on the passenger side when we did that one too but there we go finally that's out so that leaves just this 13 mil and we're done all right this one here we're having a little bit of a problem with it it's pretty uh, pretty tight 
I'm gonna put some penetrating oil on there, let it sink in a little bit to help us out, and we'll be right back. Everything's been greased up, still tight, so what I'm using here, just to show you, I'm using a long breaker bar just to help break the initial bond. Ugh, there we go. This thing is tight. We were getting it out. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on it here with the breaker bar and we'll be back. Well, I wanna show you what happened here. We ended up breaking completely. I'm not too worried about that. We're just gonna replace this anyway. It was so tight in there. I don't know what the issue was, but either way, at least we got it out. Let's pull the seat out. You can see here where we took it out. There's that bolt that broke the 13 mil. We're gonna replace that. Here's your other 13 mils. The um, T50 that goes right here. Here's your seat belt sensor underneath. But that's pretty much it. The easiest way to take it out, as we showed, is when you're lifting the seat, you're gonna turn the seat sideways and then just slide it right out so you can clear the steering wheel. All right, well, that pretty much wraps up this video on how to remove the driver's seat out of a Jeep Wrangler TJ. I hope this video helped you out and was informative. Please send me any questions, any comments. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all the support. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.